How's it going guys? Hope you guys are well. This is going to be really a quick video on kind of the psychology of photography. Really meant to be a video to help any beginner who's thinking about improving in photography and feels like the road ahead is just so long or a constant reminder to someone who's more experienced in photography who might have forgotten how long the road they've traveled has been. And this is a constant reminder I have to keep to myself and I used to tell myself all the time, especially when I was starting in photography, is just at the end of the day to keep taking photos even if you suck. And I think when we're trying to get good at anything, whether it's photography, whether it's YouTube videography or content creation, it can be daunting, especially in the face of many things. So let's go ahead and get started. This idea of keep taking photos even when you suck is just really important because it nails down on the aspect of focusing on really what matters at the end of the day, which is just taking photos or if you're on the creative side, just doing whatever you do, whether it's drawing, painting, art or whatever. And I think the biggest reason is because one, there's just a lot of noise. In this day and age, when you have YouTube and the internet and you have access to just so much information, there's so much that people are going to be telling you that you should need to or have to do to get your photos looking like a certain way or to get better at something in photography or just doing this or that, that it's easy to get distracted that at the end of the day, you just need to take photos. And I think this is something I really try to remind myself and hone down on all the time because there's just a lot of noise and a lot of these things that people are going to be telling you to do have worked for them and are important for them and that's great and all but at the end of the day the actions are the things that matter the most and that just means taking a ton of photos thousands and thousands and thousands of images because at the end of the day that's what's really going to shortcut you towards getting better is just to take as many photos intentional photos of course as you can. And this kind of brings me to the second point, and it's that the road is long. When it comes to the creative side or mastery of any sort, the road towards where you want to be or skill level wise that you want to be is going to be just extremely long, probably way longer than you imagine it to be. Decades, two decades, three decades, four decades. There are artists that have worked on their craft for their entire lifetime and still feel like they are trash, you know? So that's kind of the point I want to drive home with the second point is that the road is very, very long, much longer than you imagine it to be. And there's no need to kind of get impatient or to feel as if you need to speed your way through these things. It's a lifelong process of learning, not necessarily like, I want to be good now. I want to be good now. Of course you want to be good now, but it takes time. If you're keeping count, you're going to run out of time. You know what I mean? And so that's probably one of the bigger advices that I've learned throughout the years is that don't try and keep track of those things because at the end of the day you're not going to be able to shortcut your way to success just by trying to keep track on how many pictures you have taken so it kind of contradicts a little bit with the first advice i gave which is like you know you need thousands and thousands of pictures obviously you need thousands of pictures but don't keep track of how many pictures you're taking just take a bunch of photos you know and again this might sound like a lot for anyone who's just a hobbyist or who wants to just take pictures and is just trying to have fun with it, you know, like I'm talking about more from the sense of wanting to improve and get better in the art and trying to express something bigger. So if you're just a person who just enjoys photography and takes photos and whatever, by all means, just have fun with it. This is for people who want to get better and improve in the creative side of like photography and creativity. And this is just something that helps me on the mindset that might help you. And so it kind of brings me into the third point, which is just at the end of the day, photography is kind of a numbers game. If you take a thousand photos, you're bound to end up with one or two good ones. And then from that, you can kind of backtrack what you did good in those photos and try and recreate and implement that into the next set of a thousand photos you take. You know what I mean? And then so it's just about a hit rate. And then when you do that more often and often over the long enough period of time, you're going to end up with a lot of good photos and your hit rate's going to increase. So this is why I say and try to emphasize to keep taking photos even if you suck, because if we're focused on the idea that we suck or we're not where we're going to be, it really doesn't matter in the end. And we just make ourselves feel bad for no reason. Yeah, you might suck now, but you're going to be better later. So why not just focus on the things that'll make you better later, which is just taking a bunch of photos 
and also focusing on what you like about this photo, what you don't like about this photo, what they're doing that you like, how can you integrate that into your own photography to improve your hit rate on good photos, and then starting to learn and dial in on the nitty gritty photography things that you might want to learn like exposure, composition, manual controls, and then that's pretty much it. And so if there's anything to be gotten from this video, I don't know how comprehensive that was or not. If you want to get better in photography, you want to improve and express yourself creatively through photography, ignore all the noise, one, because there's a lot of it out there. Remember, the road is long, and if you try and keep track of how far you have left to go or how far you've come, you're not going to make it. And Three, there's a hit rate towards getting good photos. So if you take enough photos, you're gonna end up with some good ones. And so it's a matter of keeping in mind how many good photos you've taken rather than trying to just focus on all the bad photos you've taken. In conclusion, even if you suck, even if you feel like you suck, and even if someone out there is better than you, just keep taking photos because that's the only way you're gonna get better. And that's the only way you're really gonna enjoy photography is by focusing on what you need to do and what's in your control as opposed to looking at all these other people and looking at all your past trashy photos and just keeping that in your mind. Yeah, I hope that got through. I just had these kind of thoughts floating around in my mind and I wanted to film a quick video today to maybe serve as a helpful reminder to not only myself, but anyone who might be struggling with these kind of things in their own journey right now. So hopefully this video helped. If it did, please comment down below, subscribe to this channel for more stuff. Yeah, quick video, hope this helped. I will see you guys later. Peace.